What is going on guys? My name is Alex for Stellar. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix a not responding hard drive in Windows 10, Windows 11, basically any version that you're running from Windows because nine out of 10, if this hard drive is not responding, there are actually a few tricks that you guys can go ahead and apply without taking your computer to a physical store to get it repaired. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe down below because on this Stellar channel, we actually have a lot more videos coming about how to improve your computer, how to fix certain issues with Windows 10, with Windows 11. So I would say let's go ahead and get started with fixing our not responsive hard drive right after the intro. Alright guys, so now that you have your hard drive installed into your computer and it is not responding, it doesn't really matter which kind of drive it is, it's like an external one that you have built into your computer or just another internal one that you want to use for storage. It is actually very, very straightforward. So let's go ahead and get started with the first method, which is inspecting the hard drive. So if you carefully inspect your hard disk for any physical damage, if it looks fine, connect it to your PC and observe the drive for any screeching or clicking noise. So if you have your hard drive connected to your motherboard and to your computer, whether it's external or internal, if you hear like this weird clicking sound, that actually means that your hard drive has some issues and that it needs to be fixed. So how you can get started on that is pretty straightforward. If it is going to be an external hard drive, just go and unplug it and also look on the USB drive. You want to also make sure that you connect that one to a USB 2.0 or 3.0 USB slot onto your computer because if you have a, quite of an older computer and you have a really, really really new like decent hard drive it can actually cause some issues because that port on your computer might not be compatible with its full speed so if you have an internal hard drive what I would recommend is to shut down your computer and I would just disconnect the cable make sure that there is no dust in between like the port and the cable just give a quick blow into it to make sure that it's all nice and clean so if you then reconnect the cable onto your hard drive that will actually be a lot a lot better if there might be something you know let's say that your hard drive is sitting in there for like a couple years now dust has been adding up that's how you can just go and disconnect your computer from the power and then just reconnect the actual cable to your hard drive to see if that fixes it whether you have a external or an internal drive you're going to get closer to the connected drive and check if the drive is on and rotating continuously if you hear like this buzzing noise out of the hard drive if it's working and that is basically an indicator that it's working fine if it does actually stop there could be some internal mechanical problems or software related errors that you want to fix. So that is of course where Stellar Data Recovery comes in. So if you see your hard drive popping up into your Explorer on your computer, you just want to run the Stellar Data Recovery that you can find also in the description down below to download it. And then you want to run that software on that drive to fix any issues. So moving on to the second method, which is running a CHKDSK. So this is basically a command line based Windows utility that checks the hard drive disk integrity, repairs various file system errors, and tries to to recover readable information from bad sectors. Running this scan may fix your corrupt or raw hard disk, which could be a reason why your hard disk is not responding. All right guys, so how does this scan actually work? It's pretty, pretty simple. You wanna go and connect this hard drive to another computer that has Windows on it, and you wanna press the Windows key, and you wanna also press the Q button or the Q key on your keyboard. Then what you want to do is you want to type in CMD or the command prompt, and then you want to go and right click on command prompt and choose run as administrator and then you want to type in this command that I'll also show on the screen because it's a little bit complicated if I'm just going to read it out so you want to type in chkd S K space X and then this symbol space forward slash R space forward slash F and then you want to press enter and then you want to replace letter X with your external hard drive letter which is of course your R drive or your F drive in the C H K D S K parameters and then you want to go ahead and run that scan let the computer do its work and that should actually also fix the issue all right so moving on to the next step which is basically just running an antivirus or an anti-malware tool so if you have a disk that is not really responding properly or not responding at all it could be that it's infected by a virus so just go ahead and check out your windows defender tool to run a scan on that device to fix any kind of the problems when a virus or malware infects the external drive it can cause 
cause some serious trouble that can lead to data loss. If a hard drive stops responding, it could be a corrupted virus or malware infected file on the hard drive that must be removed to fix the drive error. You can use Windows Defender tool in Windows or Leverage, a reliable third-party antivirus and anti-malware tool to quarantine the infected files. So the next step, which is pretty, pretty straightforward, which is this reinstalling the drivers of that hard drive. So when you buy a hard drive, nine out of 10, you don't have to just go and online, you know, look for any kind of drivers. You just have to plug it in. Windows just automatically does a configuration for you and you're pretty much good to go. But there's also one thing that I want to mention, which is of course, sometimes due to corruption and damage to disk device drivers, you may experience this issue. You can easily fix this by reinstalling or updating device drivers through your device manager. A right click on your external external hard drive name and then you want to go and just disconnect your hard drive or reconnect it again make sure that it has a fresh installment because of course maybe sometimes if you plug in your hard drive because you don't have ejected it first before you take it out that can also just cause an issue on the long run but of course that's only for the external ones but you can also do this for your internal one and just reinstall it make sure all the drivers are up to date all right so we came to the last method of this video which is of course formatting the disk now of course if you're going to format it you're going to lose all your files but what's really really nice is that you have a hard drive and that has for example two terabytes of storage and you have about 500 gigabytes of that and if you're afraid of losing it what you can do is either back up everything on an external or another drive or you can just format it and use stellar data re recovery to get it all back no matter how many times that disk would be formatted run stellar data recovery on that disk let it run for a couple hours depending on how much footage you have on there and you can get it back real real simple so guys if if this video was helpful to you make sure to subscribe to the channel we have a lot more videos to come and that's it thanks a lot for watching and we will see you in the next video